I'm coming in, I'm coming in. I'm coming in, get off. Get off. Disgusting. Oh, get me scar. There you are. I'm ready to go now. All right, the old wife tales of the week. Coming in, I'm coming in. Wait, I'm trying to shut the door. Just a minute. It's Baba birthday here. I'm coming in. I'm coming in. There's no one here today except me. There we go. There we go. Oh, how are y'all today? Yo, uh, I'm really, really grateful to be here. Well, I'm not grateful to be here, as I said in my first talk. If you listen to me, I don't know if you're watching me. I'm not grateful to be here because I'm in this smelly old shed again. They've taken away my caravan. I tell you every time, you never do anything about it. You never do anything about it. Oh, I'm telling you. I don't know whether I'm coming or going or going or coming or coming or going. Anyway, he's hanging the right way up now, you see. Does that mean he's stagnated? Oh, I don't know. The crazy, the, 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 the granddaughter, she keeps saying. If he's hanging the right way up, I'm repeating the first program, you know. If you didn't watch the first, um, well, it's actually his program number four. Because we had the garlic, then the salt. Then we have the umbrella, then we have the one that, that I did when I'm being recycled all over the place because I, I had to keep editing and editing and I kept being exported and twirling around in the Adobe and oh, I didn't know what was happening to me. But to keep it because I offended some people. Well, today I'm going to offend everyone. I'm sorry, but that's the way it is. I'll try to be kind, but I already told them I'm going to be offending them. That's the way it is, and it's that friends of hers that keep coming and going and she never sees them. There she is lying and I'm very, very upset with the granddaughter's friends and I'm going to send this to all of you. All of you, apart from Mrs. Brown. Mrs. Brown, yes. She's keeping in touch with the granddaughter. She keeps in touch with the granddaughter. She's kind. She, she, she even came and visited her, her in the shed and they had such a lo lovely time, such a lovely time. The granddaughter did the tarot. Oh, I tell you, my teeth are falling now. My teeth are falling now. Oh, everything's happened to me. Well, I'm 110 years old. I can't keep them in my mouth anymore. They're jumping all over the place like a piano. Just like a piano. You know the way the piano keys go up, down, up, down, up. Keep focus, Baba Berta. Anyway, what was I talking about? Oh, yes, I'm going to offend all her friends. Now, I see the granddaughter. She lies in bed. She cries her eyes out every night. That poor girl. Oh, I feel so sorry for her. I feel so sorry for her. Ever since, ever since my son-in-law Sydney died, ever since he died, she's been crying herself stupid because all of them, they cut her off. They cut her off, the whole lot of them, the family, the, the sister, the nieces, over there in the promised land, in the, in the promised land, the land of, the land of, Mil, the land of Lincoln, oh, the land of milk and honey. You see, I can't get me, my mouth is all twisted because my teeth are falling out. Like the piano that goes up and down, up and down. Anyway, so today I'm going to offend all our friends because I'm so... Oh, in our days, friends stuck by each other. In friends, they go to see you. When, when the granddaughter was in a wheelchair, no one came to visit. Except the, this Ignat, Ignatain, oh, I don't know what his name is. He calls himself... Iggy, Iggy, Iggy Pop. Iggy Pop, that's it. Iggy Pop came to visit her. Iggy Pop, you know who he is? And he came, I think it was Iggy Pop. He sounded like that. That's what she said. You know Iggy Pop, he's famous, isn't he? Don't know why he's not giving her an interview or maybe on TV if he's that famous. But he, he came to visit her and he bought her, he brought her uh, fruit salads. Every week he'd come and sit, and sit with her and he'd watch things with her. He watched this thing called the Buddha on a bicycle, I tell you. What is a Buddha on a bicycle? I never saw Buddha riding a bicycle. Did you ever see Buddha riding a bicycle? I always saw Buddha sitting there going, um, um. He sat like that, like that. I never saw. And he had these long ears. You know, Buddha. You see his ears. So why is his ears so big? Why is his ears so long? Is he wearing those big earrings that were dragging them down all the way to the floor? Because they're massive earlobes on that Buddha. I tell you, I saw him. 
I saw him on this program with the granddaughter. We used to watch it in, on this thing called um, Net Me A Flicks or something. Net Me, Net Me, Net Me Pigs. Net, uh, Net Me Amazon or I can't remember. I can't remember what it's called. Net, Net, Net Prime, Net Prime. That's it. That's it. Net Prime, Net Prime. We sat in the Net Prime and she watched the life story of the Buddha. The life story of the Buddha. And it was in Hindu. I mean, didn't understand the word he said, except the same Om, he sat there doing Om, that I didn't understand, that's all I understood when he sat there and did Om, and he had these really, really long years, I tell you, really long years, oh, terrible, terrible life story, I tell you, his cousin, his cousin, can't remember the name of him, but he's somebody called um, Jagat Singh, he got interviewed by the granddaughter and she interviewed him a long time ago. He's a, he's a really handsome man, but he tried to kill Buddha. Why did she interview someone that tried to kill, apparently, one of the most enlightened people on this planet, as well as the poor Jesus? Anyway, I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not, I, I don't know whether I'm coming or going or going or coming, because I went down the shops today. Oh, I tell you. I went to get me hair done. I went to get, I decided I was going to have it blue with pink stripes. What do you think? Do you think it'll, you think it's going to, 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 um, to suit me? I thought I'd be a bit outrageous, like I used to be. And I'll have the pink stripes in the blue air. Well, the granddaughter said that means I'll have a good throat chakra and I'll be connected to the violet flame. Where did we get her from? I, I don't know. Anyway, I'm telling you, I went to go to the hairdresser and I get to the door and there's me, 110 years old, been through everything, been through the first, the second, the third, the fourth, the fifth and the tenth world wars, all of them. And I'm trying to get in. I tell you, I was a partisan. Oh, well, you don't know. I'll tell you another day. I was in a part. I was a partisan. I, I in in the Second World War. I stood me ground. I stood me ground. I'm not going to tell you anymore. But I'll tell you another day about me life. They got nothing out of me. I tell you, they got nothing out of me. Nothing. Never told them anything. But anyway, that's another story. Where was I? Oh, Baba birthday. Wait, you're not top. Who am I talking to? Well, all I've got here is a rake over here. There's, there's a packet of fertiliser, there, there, there's a bottle of water, am I talking to the, oh I don't know what I'm doing, I don't know whether I'm coming or going, this really really upset me, and you better be laughing here because I don't know why I'm bothering to do this, before I offend all of you, especially the, those who are not bothering with the granddaughter, you need, you need to have your head whacked, if I get hold of you I tell you I'll give you a good shake, I'll give you a good shake I will, all of you, right I'll come to you in a minute. Right, what was I saying? I went to the hairdressing salon to have my hair done. And I walk in, I said, can you do me hair blue with pink spots? Not pink spots, pink stripes. Anyway, she said, oh, I can't do that. I can't do that. I said, why not? Oh, she said, you'll get caught. I said, what's she talking about? What's she talking about? I just want you to dye me hair. I don't want none of those chemicals, no one thinks SLS and parabens and granddaughters told me all about that. She's been educated by those people, you know, from biomineral balance. Mm. And, 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 and so she said, oh, you can't have the blue, uh, you know, you're going to get the, 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 oh, the thing I, I can't see, you know. Um, and I said, I don't know what you're talking about, I just want you to dye me air. Anyway. The woman was, I, I couldn't believe it. She she went to the back of the, anyway, as soon as I came in, we were near her. She said, oh, don't come near me. Six, six, six. She said, six, six, six. I said, what are you talking about? Are you worshipping the devil or something? Six, six, six. I don't know. I said, and then she went, two, oh, it's okay. Two, two, two. What is wrong with them with all these numbers? As I said, we can't say the one, two, three, four, six. We can't say the number, you know. But she was, oh, I don't know. Anyway, she goes and she gets this shield and she puts it on her. I'm not, I'm not joking. You can go down to the hairdresser and it's called Janine's or something in, in, the, in the high street where, where the granddaughter lives. Anyway, she walks in. I, I, I'm there. No, she walks in. I'm already there. Baba Bert, I just focus. I'm trying to focus here. I'm trying to focus here. She read me cards and she said, I have to focus. Focus, focus. 
focus. Right, and focus. I'm focusing them. Right. Anyway, so she's wearing this shield. And I'm thinking, have I landed in a spaceship? It looks like she's living on a spaceship. I, I, I'm telling you. So I thought I better do a program very, very quickly because it's all the fault of this Gilbates thing. This Gilbates thing that they're talking about. I don't know who it is or what it is. And Zark Muckerberg. Zark Muckerberg, he's got so much to add support, that Zark Muckerberg. Oh, I tell you. Zark Muckerberg. And then, and then you go and you buy your stuff from this um, Amazon. Amazing. Amazing. Zin. 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 Oh, I don't remember. And it's run by this Jeff Pesos. Jeff Pesos. I mean, what's he looking for more money? He's got all these pesos. He's so rich. Oh. Again, I, I, I can't focus. Keep your mind focused. I need the son and the, the, the great son in law. He'll do this with me. Tick tock, tick tock. I'm not talking about that media social thing. Anyway, I'm going to insult all her friends now because I am so fed up picking up her pieces. Ooh, that sounds Southern American, and ooh, I'm going into Southern American accent. What is going on here, Baba Bartha? I don't know. I think Hannah Mae Bindler is coming in. Anyway, let's calm down now. Soon we'll have Piaf. Oh, I don't want her at the moment. I just want to be Baba Bertha. They took away me caravan. They've made me crazy. Anyway, I'm fed up watching the granddaughter cry sleep, crying herself to sleep every night. That poor, that poor Martin, the son-in-law, great son-in-law. What is he? No, he's the son-in-law, isn't he? He's the son-in-law. No, he's the great, he's the grandson-in-law. Oh my God, I'm so not focused today. The grandson-in-law, he has to pick up her pieces and hug her and cuddle her every night. She's got no one, no one. Anyway, let's start with the Paul MacDonald, right? She thinks the sun shines out of his backside. I don't, and neither does he. I tell you, I tell you. Now, he's got a really big... Now, don't get your heads back, you, you, you filthy, filthy minds. He's got an accordion, a big accordion, all right? Now, the, the granddaughter, she loves that accordion. She used to enjoy playing that accordion. Because, you know, since she was six years old, she used to play that little Ilana. She used to play that lovely little accordion. We used to sit there listening to her. Oh, and she'd be playing the accordion. So talented, so talented. Anyway, he's got this huge, I told you, put your filthy minds back in. Accordion, that size. Um, it plays so beautiful because Ilana, poor Ilana, she's, she's completely bust her bellows. You know, and every time she, she, she just busts her bellows every time she tries to play her and she sticks her back with glue. It's like giving her Botox. She goes and busts her bellows again. Oh, it's terrible, terrible. Ilana's about 150 years old. She must be. She must be. And when we got her for the, when we got her for the, um, for the granddaughter, she was six years old. So Ilana was quite old then we got, when we got her. Anyway, she loves playing that accordion. But he doesn't want her to do that. He doesn't want to see anybody anymore. He doesn't want to see her anymore. Anyway, so I'm I'm not happy with him at all. That's the first one. The Paul MacDonald, if you're watching this, you need to know that Boba Berta's coming after you. And when she gets hold of you, she's going to shake you. She's going to shake the living daylights out of you. Anyway, he probably won't even bother to watch this. But I tell you, the granddaughter, this is another thing, another thing, because she thinks that this really works for her. She really thinks, and it does, she seems to go there to this Pa MacDonald, and she comes back, good Irish name, good Irish name, shame on you, shame on you and your accordion. Imagine having an accordion and being Irish and treating that poor granddaughter of mine the way you treat her. Disgusting. Disgusting. I tell you, you're up against Baba Bertha now. Anyway, she says you have this sound and light bed. She goes on it. She goes on it. And she comes back and she's all relaxed and all the pain's gone. She's feeling on top of the world. 
you know, because something happens there on that sound and light bed. Anyway, it's a bit strange to me. A bit strange to me because, first of all, she lies on the water. I don't know what you do to me, granddaughter, but you put her in a water bed, right, full of water, and then you put her in the electricity. Because to, to, to see the sounds and the lights, you need to have... You're electrocuting me, granddaughter! You're electrocuting me, beautiful granddaughter. She seems to like it. I don't understand. She likes getting electrocuted. She comes back looking on top of the world, no pain. Completely, no, she's not crying over her father and the family in, this, in, in, in the land of milk and honey. You know, that lot. She's completely different. I don't understand it. You know, when I wanted to get a kick, I'd, I used to get a couple of whiskeys, a few beers, a joint and a bit of heroin with either Piaf over there, when she'll come on. And we had a great time having, you know, a couple of here, there's and everywhere, if you know what I mean. Like we did with the police the other day, passing it around to all of them because we weren't happy to wear masks. And, and, and she goes and gets herself electrocuted but for some reason now, we won't let her use it. Shame, eh? And she's not feeling too good. She's not feeling too good. She's got lots of aches and pains. Anyway, that's the message and the offensive, the offension, the, the, the offending of this Mr. Paul McDonald. McDonald. I'm telling you, she gets a lot of good stuff from that bed. And if anyone's watching it, yeah, you need to use it because getting electrocuted apparently is good for you. Anyway, that's that bit gone. Now let's move on to another friend of ours. His name is Rohan. I tell you, who calls their child Rohan? Now, I've heard of the, f the film, Rohide, you know, with East Clintwood. Rohide, Rohide, you know, you're getting on the horses and, 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 and the cowboys and the Indians. Rohide, Rohide. But Rohan, what kind of name is that? Not only that, his name is Rohan Noseworthy. Noseworthy. So he walks around with his Noseworthy. I'm telling you. But he never comes to visit. Never comes to visit. What a shame. I know she gets on really well with this Rohan Noseworthy. I tell you, she's got some friends. They're not. What kind of friends don't come to visit? What kind of friends don't come to visit when you're on your own? Oh, I don't know. In my days, friends were friends. Friends were friends. I tell you what, one came to visit last week. Oh, she was a lovely girl. Paula Hales Brown. I tell you, I think she's related to Mrs. Brown. I forgot to ask her. Next time I see her, I'm going to say, Paula Hales Brown, can you please get me on the Mrs. Brown show? I really, I, I think Mrs. Brown would love me, don't you think? We could sit there, I could tell her all about the Jewish, Russian, Gypsy, Polish, um, accordions, things, all the things that, 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 that I know, because I'm 110 years old, I can sing, Oh Danny boy, the pipes, the pipes are calling. I could sing, I could, I could play the accordion as well, I could play, yeah, oh God, I could play, I could play anything, I could play you if you want me to. <laughs> no one gets round Bubba Berta, I know you, I can see right into your souls, raw and noseworthy. Anyway, as I said, if you're going to visit the granddaughter, she really needs you to have a visit soon. It's not fair to leave her on her own all the time. Disgusting, you're disgusting all of you, you call yourselves friends. Now, let's see who else has she got friends. Well, she's got, um, let me think, let me think. Well, she's got a wonderful friend. She lives in Scotland. Her name's Anne Sarah. Anne Sarah Gallagher. Good old Irish, eh? Good old Irish. She's a lovely, lovely lass. Lovely lass. Love her to bits. She never, never, never gives up on the granddaughter. She contacts her at least once a week. She rings her. She keeps in touch. She's got two cats now. But she says something a bit a bit strange about her and she said I'm not going to offend her because she's too good. She's too nice and she's too supportive and kind to the granddaughter. But I tell you what, this is something I can't get my head around. She's very similar to the neighbour next door. Something very strange about these women. They call their cats and their boyfriends or their partners or their children the same name. Their pets and their children. And, or, and it's like... 
and Sarah, this, this really lovely friend, this lovely friend that lives in Scotland. So she's too far away. You know, the granddaughter can't get to see her. It's not fair. It's not fair, but they keep in touch all the time. Anyway, she's got a boyfriend called Bobby. So what does she do when she gets a cat? She calls him Bobby. I mean, where is the common sense? We've got a neighbour. She's got um, she's got um, a little boy. She called him Toby. She gets the cat. She calls him Toby. I'm sorry, I don't get it. I don't get it. When we used to have cats, we used to call them by all sorts of names like Ginger. I mean, I mean, look at that Ginger cat. He looks like President Trump. But but, but the Ginger cat's got the white bits. But I'm sure it's President Trump's got the white bits. Oh, that's totally out of, out of order, Baba Berta. That's totally. Who am I talking to? All I've got here is a rake and a spade and a bean bag. Oh, don't get me started about bean bags. The granddaughter, she ordered a bean bag. She ordered a bean bag, another bean bag today from that amazing Pesos guy. You know, that's got that amazing company. Oh, it's not amazing at all. It's terrible, terrible. Load of rubbish and it all comes from China. Probably attached to this COVID. And they haven't closed that down. I tell you, you keep getting packages from all over the place. Never closed that down. They closed down all the tiny businesses. They closed down Mrs. O'Rourke's business down the road. The poor woman, she's sitting there every day watching the mainstream media instead of watching moving on TV, the, the granddaughter's truth. She sits there watching the mainstream media. Do you know what that woman's done to herself? She's taken the polystyrene. And she's put it, she's, she, she's put it in glue and she's stuck it all over her body because she's too scared to get that call, oh, I tell you. I don't know whether I'm coming or going or going or coming. This is getting to me now, getting to me. Poor Baba Bertha, come on everyone. Poor Baba Bertha, I'm going to have to end. I think I'll do two programmes because this is going to be too long because the next programme I'm going to talk to you about the wave, the second and the third wave. But getting back to the people that call their pets the same name, that gets very confusing. Come to bed, Bobby. So what happens? Does the boyfriend come to bed with you or does the cat? Come to bed, Bobby. Or would you like your dinner, Bobby? She's walking around with the cat food. Would you like your dinner, Bobby? And, and, and there's the grown-up Bobby thinking, I'm going to be fed. And she gives him a tin of cat food. Oh, I tell you. I don't know whether I'm coming or going or going or coming. You know, I'm going to end this now. Please subscribe and laugh or don't or hate me. Please love me because Baba Berta needs to be loved. And please come and visit the granddaughter because she's driving me crazy. If she wasn't driving me crazy, I wouldn't be doing these programs. Oh. Someone said alter ego. I must be. Anyway, I love you. And that's the end of program number one. And I can't remember what I talked about. Oh, I talked about offending the friends. I'm offending the friends. And especially a message to someone who now we know who the person is who's sending the granddaughter. The fake mad bitch messages. We know who this person is. They trolled their true colors. And I'll give you a little clue. This person is named after something that flies around and leaves white feathers. If you know and you're watching this, we know who you are. End of. Thank you very much, Mr. Q. Oh, in the next program, I'll tell you what happened when I called Q. She told me to say this because i got to come off now because you're not going to watch it if it's too long. So here we go. Where we go, one we go all. I do not consent. I ain't having it. Breathing in this good ass prana, baby. Goodbye. Thank you. Baba Berta. And I'm very sorry, but I'm doing the editing tonight. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Help me. Bring on another editor, please.